So I've been using a tool recently called Linktree. Now Linktree is a free tool that you can use which creates one link when clicked gives your viewers the option to go to various places. So from that one link, you can send them to five or six different places across your business. Now it's really good for social media, but it can also be used on WordPress niche websites. So I thought we'd take a look at my account on Linktree and I'll show you what I've created and how it's helping me grow my business. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. If you have any form of social media like Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, you'll know that sharing your links to relevant websites or pieces of content can be a little bit difficult because often they only allow one link. So Instagram, for instance, only allows one link in the bio. Same applies to TikTok. You can only put one link in your bio, which usually sends them to your website or your YouTube channel. Well, with this tool, Linktree, you can send them to multiple places. So from that one link, you can send them to wherever you wish. You can also use this tool for email campaigns. You can also use it for selling products as well. And it does also have an e-commerce application as well. So it's a really clever tool. Now, it's not the only tool that does this. There are three or four different tools that you can use. I will leave the link in the description for as many as I can find that'll help you out, give you some options. But it is a free tool. I've been using it now for a few weeks and I'm already seeing some clicks from Instagram and TikTok going over to various places. So I thought if we have a look in my dashboard for Linktree, you can see exactly what I've created, how you can create your own to suit your own needs and where you can share this tool. And like I said, it is free. I'm using the free version. There is a pro version. I am not an affiliate for this product whatsoever. I just thought it was a handy tool that I'm using. And as always, if I'm using it, I share it with you guys because it, it might be helpful for you. So let's quickly head over to the dashboard now and we'll have a look at my account. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is Google and search for Linktree. As you can see, it's here. If we click this, you head over to their landing page and it gives you quite a bit of information on here. To get started is for free. You just click here and log in and set up an account. I've already done that, so we'll just click log in and then click into my account. And you can see here, so on the right hand side, this is how my current live link looks. And you can see at the top corner here, I just have one link which gives people the option to use any of these functions. So each one of these will send a visitor to somewhere new. Now, if you have a look here, it's very, very simple. When you first come onto your app, you will see none of these boxes and this phone here will just be blank. There'll be nothing there. So the first thing you probably want to do is set up your appearance. So you just click in the top left-hand corner here and you can see some of the designs that you can choose and it changes live as you're doing it. So you can see here, I'm on this one here, Bloom. So if I wanted this one here, all the ones that obviously don't say Pro are for free. So if I click this, you can see that my phone over here changes. And again, could do something different there, black boxes, and you can see it quickly changes. So you can play around with the colors, I'm not too sure how that's going to affect the interaction. I think what's inside the boxes is probably going to be more important. But you can see there are some pro settings here. And if you have the pro account, which I will show you the prices of very soon, it's up to you how you create and design your own style. Now, with the pro version, you can put things like video backgrounds and image backgrounds, which can be quite catchy and can entice people to do more actions. But for me, I think just the plain version works fine. You've then got all the settings here. So the settings are where you will integrate your email list or where you integrate your e-commerce platforms and also connect all your social media. So you can see here, you can connect it to email, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, there's WhatsApp. There's so many different platforms you can use on Pinterest. How handy is that one gonna be? Um, TikTok, obviously, Snapchat, Apple Music, uh, Etsy, your store, if you've got an online store. There's so many different platforms you can use it on. That's why I think it is 
quite a valuable tool to have, not only if you just have a TikTok account or Instagram, also if you've got WordPress or Facebook or anything like that. I think it's quite a handy tool to have. And then if we click to the pro functions here, you can see what you get for your subscription. So like I say, I'm using the free version and I don't think there's much limitations on it to be honest. And then for the $6, you can get things like video backgrounds here and you can get priority support. You can also get more analytics as well. And it's only $6 per month. So if we just head back now to my app and I'll show you how it's been working. So you can see here in the top left hand corner, it shows that I have got 71 views and I have 41 clicks. Now I've got this embedded on Instagram and I've also got it embedded on TikTok. So these 71 views have come from Instagram and TikTok. Now the great thing about it is you can see your individual views here. So you can see this one here, so win an affiliate marketing book. This is to enter my competition. It's down over the last seven days. It's had 17 clicks, but that is down on last week. And then you can see some of the other ones. So my main YouTube channel is getting two clicks. My winner website, again, is down over the last seven days. Eight clicks, seven clicks for this one, and seven clicks for this one. Now, if you quickly want to turn one off, so let's say this one. So my YouTube channel is not getting very many clicks. You just simply click here and you'll see on the right hand side that it disappears and we've narrowed the entries down. Now, what a lot of people are saying about this tool is that if you give people too many options, then they jump off. They, uh, they're overwhelmed with the amount of options and it often doesn't work. So sometimes it's best just to give them a couple of options. So I may just want people to enter my giveaway. So I have one here to win some affiliate marketing books. And then I have one here to win helpfulmonk.com, which is a website that I'm building to give away. So I might just want the competition. So if I turn these others off, you can see the options are much simplified. So anybody who clicks this now really has two things to do. And I'm pretty sure they will probably favor one or the other. So it is quite easy to do. If you want to add a new one, all you do is simply click add a new link. And you can see it appears and then you just give it a title. So this might be, go watch my video. And then you simply paste the URL in here and simply switch it on and you'll see the box appear. Now, if you start adding too many things like this, the user needs to scroll and that's not very good. So again, the one, this link here to my main website is not getting many clicks. So we could turn that off and you'll see now it fits on the screen perfectly well. So if anybody clicks this now, they will head straight over to a YouTube video, which is what I wanted them to do. So as you can see, it's a great little tool. I do think it is really valuable for anybody trying to grow an email list. So if you want to give a PDF or you want to give them an article nobody else can read, but only if they subscribe, you can click a link here. So it's a really good way of building your email list. And you can also use it for products. Like I say, you can send them to a product. So if your TikTok is all about, let's say photography, you can put here, view my favorite camera. Here's the tripod I use is the editing software I use. And you can put links in here that sends them to articles where you've got your products or to your affiliate products. So I think it's a really good tool. I It's working pretty good for me. It's only been up and running for a couple of weeks and I've had 71 views and 41 clicks. So I think 41 clicks in two weeks over to my website or my products or my giveaways for something that doesn't cost anything, I think it's pretty good. And like I say, remember, if you've got a WordPress website, you could simply embed this one code up here into your post and give your viewers several options. So rather than put here, look, one, two, three, four, five. So rather than put five individual links within an article, I could just embed this one link and that will give them five different options. And will that be better for SEO? I probably think it will. The less links you have that look affiliate or salesy, the better Google will appreciate that. So I hope you like that. If we just log out now, I'll just show you the main website and you can see some of the functionality that it has. So you can see here some, it shows you some of the different designs. So here's where you can use it. Look, all these different platforms. You can collect payments from this tool. You can easily manage your emails, like I say, so get people to subscribe and you can link it to your MailChimp account as well. So you can track it. 
And like I say, it has a lot of different functionality. The analytics is good. You have a limited amount on the free version, and then you have a more detailed analytics in the paid subscription. Again, look, you can integrate it with all these different um, tools. So like Google Sheets and Google Analytics and emails, it's pretty good. And you can see here, it just shows you quite a few people, uh, well-known people who, who are using this, because like I say, one link in their Instagram or one link in TikTok is going to give them more options. So I hope you like that. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm using the free version. Feel free to check it out. Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? Have you tried it? Can it be used as a form of affiliate marketing? Not too sure, but for now, I'm enjoying just at least getting a few people over to my website by using this free tool. Okay, so there you go. That is my account. That's how I've set it up. I'm not too worried about creating really fancy backgrounds. I have seen some where on the pro version, it sends them to a video. So if somebody's selling a course or a digital product, then when they click that link, it sends them straight to a video that is embedded through the Linktree tool. So it can work for really driving sales. It works really well for building an email list. And if you're just wanting to increase your following or get more clicks through to your articles, it works really well for that. And I hope you find the tool helpful. Uh, it's certainly working well for me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will possibly experiment with putting one link in my email, which will then give people various options. And maybe that one link will stop emails hitting the spam box rather than plastering the email full of various links. So it might work out well for that. We'll see. I'll do a bit more testing and I'll bring you the results very soon. But for now, thanks for joining me. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. So thank you and I will see you in the next video.